Hey guys and welcome back to our infinite flight video training series. This is Mark and today we conclude the understanding METARS with part 7 where we discuss TAFs. First, what is TAF? Basically TAF stands for Terminal Area Forecast and it provides the expected meteorological uh, conditions at an airport during a specified period, a lot of times up to 24 hours. Also, TAFs uses the same uh, weather codes that are found in METARs. So because of what we have already covered uh, in the first sections of METARs, you should be able, for the most part, be able to read the TAFs, uh, but I'll go over a couple of things uh, that are specific to the TAFs. Basically, a TAF report contains the following elements and in this order. The type of report, the ICAO station identifier, uh, the date and time of the origin, uh, the valid period, date and time, as well as the forecasted conditions. Now there are two types of TAF reports. Uh, one is a routine forecast or a TAF. Uh, the second one is an amended forecast, uh, which is a TAF and then you'll see the code AMD, which you can see on the example I have at the top of the screen. Uh, an amended TAF is basically issued when a current TAF no longer adequately describes the ongoing weather. You may also see corrected or COR or delayed, which is RTD TAFs, uh, and they are identified only in the communications header which precedes the forecast text. So let's go ahead and cover the forecast change identifiers, uh, the from group or FM. Uh, the FM group is used when a rapid change, usually occurring in less than an hour in prevailing conditions, is expected. The becoming group, which will be identified as BEC, MG, or Bravo Echo Charlie Mike Golf, uh, the becoming group is used when a gradual change in conditions is expected over a longer period of time, usually around two hours or over two hours. Uh, lastly, we have the temporary group or tempo. Uh, the tempo group is used for conditions in wind, visibility, weather, or sky conditions, which are expected to last for generally less than an hour at a time, but are expected to occur during less than half the time period. I hope this has helped everyone have a little bit better understanding of what TAFs are. Basically, it's a forecasted METARS. Make sure that you subscribe here for more great tutorials. Also check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, and you can also check us out on Instagram. Again, guys, my name is Mark. Thanks for watching.